All right, so if you watched the last video, then this will look somewhat familiar. Uh, this is the same type of phishing page that I used in my last demonstration where I showed you what it looks like when someone actually falls victim to the attack, as well as what it looks like for the hacker who received the, the clear text username and password. Um, so before I go into detail about how to create that phishing website, let me just do a quick example of what it is we can expect to see. So first off, I'm going to use tail, and I'm going to keep a lookout on this loot.txt file. So there's nothing in there at the moment, but by using dash f, I'm able to keep that open and let me know if anything changes to that file. So now if I were to actually put in, you know, like aa at example.com and just throw a password in, we see the same thing we saw before. This time we actually got a bunch of junk in here, um, but we see a, uh, a session password and it's kind of hard to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kill this tell command. Um, and instead I'm just going to do a quick G edit on loot.txt. It'll make it a little bit easier for us to scroll. So we're looking at session password, password. And if we scroll up, we can look at the session key, AA example.com. So this is the end result. This is what we're trying to get to. Um, and yeah, I guess let's just show you how we got there. The first piece to the puzzle is understanding what's actually happening. And there's two files that, I mean, I guess technically there are three files that we're really, really um, reliant on in making this attack successful. The first is that page we go to, which is sign in HTML. Um, we need to be able to have a page that looks like LinkedIn. It's going to be convincing enough for someone to actually try to sign in with their username and password. The second piece is what happens when someone enters an email, a password, and they click sign in? Well, that's the, that's the second part. And we handle that through a PHP file called capture.php. And so essentially, instead of sending whatever they type into LinkedIn, we want to send that to capture.php. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. If we look at capture.php, we've got a bunch of code here. And don't worry, um, you don't need to be intimidated. In fact, I just pulled this right off of a, a Google search. <laughs> so um, there's really, it's, it's, it looks complex, but it's really not. All that we're really doing is for each post request that gets put out to that website, which when you type in a username and password field, that's typically through a post request. For each one of those, we're gonna take the value and we're gonna throw that into a variable. And then we're just gonna write that variable out to the screen, um, which actually is going to open up a text file called loot.txt and it's gonna write that variable into loot.txt. So that's why if we keep an eye on loot.txt, as soon as someone types in a username and password, this script gets executed and it's going to write whatever they type into those uh, those different variables, whatever the value is that they type in, that's going to show here in dilute.txt. And that's how we can grab the username and password field. The other cool thing here is at the end, it's going to display invalid email password, try again, and then it's going to refresh the page and send them right back to sign in.html. So that's what the PHP code is doing. But what about like the actual code itself that it looks like a fake LinkedIn, right? So let me quit out of here and I'll show you how hackers are doing it. So I'm just gonna open up a browser and I'm gonna go to linkedin.com. And here we are, we're at the page. I'll go to the sign in section and check that out. It looks exactly like what we were seeing before. Now this time we're actually on linkedin.com, right? But what if we right click and we go to view the page source? What happens is we actually can see um, a full list of all the code that makes up that web page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control-A. That's going to select everything. And then I'm just going to copy this code. And if we copy that down, I can actually come back here, and I make a new, uh, a new text file, and I'm just going to call this example.html. It's going to be our example HTML file. And then I'm just going to paste all this code in. And it might take a second to actually paste that because, uh, you know, there's quite a bit of stuff there. Nice. Look at that. It's terrible. Oh, man. <laughs> Imagine actually having to, to do much with this. Um, the good news is there's not a lot we need to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for, um, really, this is actually the only thing we need to do, is I'm going to search for action equals. And this is the only part that matters. So 
action equals. What this is saying is when we submit our username and password, we call on this action equals, and then we're actioning, or I guess we're calling on this remote file. This is a file that LinkedIn controls, login submit. But instead of sending it to login submit, what I'd rather do is I'd rather send it to my capture.php because I don't have access to LinkedIn's login submit. Plus, I don't want it to be sent to LinkedIn. I want it to be sent to me. So now that we have our own file here, oh, let me pull this back up. Sorry, I messed up my search. Just exit out of here and then we'll search for it again. Action equals, there we are. And now I'm going to replace just deleting that. And I'm going to instead say action equals capture.php, right? So this is the part that I modified. I'm just going to go ahead and save my changes. And uh, that's that's really about it. Honestly, there's not much more to it. I have a web server that I'm hosting up on my Kelly machine, um, but I've got all the files I need. I guess the other piece that's important is we need to create a loot.txt. And if I open this up, you'll see I actually have quite a bit of files in here. Um, I already have loot.txt created, but if you don't, then you're going to want to create a loot.txt inside your, your, your web directory, which I'm just using the default www var directory. Um, and I'm using Apache to host up the web server on my box. So I have everything in place here. All I have to do is actually go out to the IP address of my machine, and then we can go to that example, that HTML page we just created, and check it out. There we are. And again, when we type anything in, that's going to call on capture.php, and then it's going to populate loot.txt. So just like before, we could quickly uh, we can monitor the contents of loot.txt. And right, we already have a bunch of stuff in there from, from earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete out what we have in loot.txt. I just cleared all the contents there. And then now we can do another quick tail on this guy. Nothing's in there. Now we're looking at example HTML. And now we could type in, you know, second example, I guess. I don't know. Second at example.com, right? Password to go. Yeah, and we're getting we're getting something here that's really, really making it tough. And this is actually part of uh here, I'll close this out. We'll do a quick G edit of loot. So this is one of the, the negatives of using that PHP file that I was talking about is that PHP, that capture.php, it's grabbing uh, the contents of every single variable and it's throwing it back, right? So we have a variable here called ID string and parent page key, page instance. All of these things are set by LinkedIn. They're set by the actual, you know, all this code that we just blindly stole. <laughs> all this code is actually making these different variables here. And if we didn't want all that, we could edit our, our capture.php file to show us just the session key and just the, the session password. But each website is going to have different variable names. And so I like to grab them all and then just manually shift through, you know, the stuff that I don't need um, and, until I find the stuff that I do. So that's a uh, that's really it. That's kind of how attackers are doing it now. Um, I'd love to get any feedback from you. If you have any questions about what we just did, throw them in the comments section. I'd be happy to try to help answer them. Um, and then if this was something that was all at all interesting to you, smash that like button for me. Hit the subscribe button because I'll be doing more stuff like this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.